Welcome back everybody. It is the ASMR collector here. Um, before we get into this video, I am uh, really grateful that Lloyd ASMR uh, gave me a shout out. It was really cool. Um, <clears throat> he's having a uh, donation. Uh, if you want, you can donate to his channel. Um, I had been watching Lloyd's videos for a while, and I actually found out about him maybe a year, a year and a half ago, and he actually hadn't been uploading then, but I watched a lot of his videos, and he is just, he's so underrated. He should have a lot more subscribers than he does, and, uh, you know, he, uh, he's, he's very good at what he does. It's almost, it's almost like, I'm trying to think on how to, how to say this, the amount of skill it would take to be as methodical and slow as he is in his responses and his movements and his speech. It's unbelievable. The talent is unbelievable. So, some of my favorite videos that he's done have been his library role plays um, and his antique roadshow type style role plays. Those are those are my favorite videos of, of his. He had a record store uh, role play as well that I really like, but. He uh, came back, and everybody had wondered where he was. And a couple weeks ago, he almost a month ago now, he uploaded a video. I couldn't believe it, and uh, I saw that he, you know, he was saying, "Hey, listen, you know, I'm falling on hard times, and uh, is there any way you can help me out?" And as soon as I saw that, I said, "Absolutely," because it's one thing to donate because I'm a good person. But selfishly, I donated because I appreciated his content, and I want him to continue making videos. I know a lot of you want him to continue making videos. So, I thought that uh, it was definitely warranted, but uh, the fact that he, you know, shouted me out, he didn't have to, that was really cool of him, so. And uh, subscribed to my channel, which was really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited that he's back. And I'm looking forward to a lot more role plays and, and hopefully some of my favorite videos he brings back. You know, I know a lot of you are, are looking forward to it as well. Um, I know that you guys have seen me with the Munch Pack videos, but this is something different. This is something called snack crate and it's whereas munch pack is many countries from around the world in one box each snack crate box is one country and they focus on one country each month a monthly box from around the world snack crate so uh, whoops see if I can open this up without making too much of a uh, noise here. I don't, I don't know. I got a scissors here. Let's see what we can do. month's snacking adventure. Get social with us. Share your snack experience. Hashtag snack crate. And it looks like this is a Caribbean themed snack crate. Hashtag snack carib. Let's see what we got in here.
This month's crate is from the Caribbean. Number of islands, over 700. Regional governments, 13 sovereign states, 17 dependent territories. Population is 43,601,839. And in square miles, the area is 1,063,000 square miles. And here there's a picture of Trunk Bay, St. John, United States Virgin Islands. I've actually been to St. Croix, and when I went to St. Croix, I did not realize that you drive on the left side of the road. So I'm on the right side of the road, and I almost, as soon as I landed, got my rental car. I almost got in an accident. <laughs> and the uh, the native there was had some choice words for me, and I thought that he was an idiot, and sure enough, I was the idiot. So, about the Caribbean is a group of 30 territories whose borders touch the Caribbean Sea, made up of over 700 islands and surrounding coastal regions. The Caribbean is located to the southeast of the North American mainland. This region is home to some of the most diverse marine and land ecosystems in the world. Vast coral reefs and seagrass meadows shelter hundreds of unique species of sea life. Landscapes range from mountainous forests to dry cactus-filled plains to lush tropical rainforests. Every time I see the word tropical, I think of delicious juices for some reason. Juicy flavors. The European slave trade brought thousands of West Africans to the region between 1500 and 1800, and immigrants from China, Inda, India, Indonesia arrived in the mid-1800s to work as indentured laborers. Pirates thrived in the Caribbean between the 1500s to around 1830, as pirate-friendly port cities such as Port Royal <coughs> and Tortuga offered close proximity to major trade routes and a safe haven to hide from European natives. Uh, here's the thing. European navies, by the way. Uh, I, for those of you who play Assassin's Creed, you'll know that to be true, because Assassin's Creed Black Flag took place around there, and in Port Royal as well. Known for its sparkling blue water, picturesque beaches, and tropical climate, this area has become a popular with tourists around the globe, but the rich culture and natural diversity are what make this region a truly vibrant and fascinating destination. A perfect blend of global and uniquely Caribbean influences in a tropical paradise. So here are some fun facts. 007, the Caribbean is the birthplace of James Bond, author Ian Fleming, wrote all 13 of the spy thrillers at Goldeneye, his home in Jamaica. With a heat rating of more than 1.2 million Scoville units, the Moruga Scorpion Chili Pepper from Trinidad and Tobago is one of the hottest peppers in the world. Residents of colonial Cuba could be punished for insulting a bird. The feathers of the Cuban Trogan were seen as representing the red sash worn by Spanish kings. Saba is home to the shortest airport runway in the world. At 1,312 feet, it's 22% of the length of an average runway. Happy landings. <coughs> Dominica is home to the second largest boiling lake in the world, with temperatures ranging from 180 to 197 degrees Fahrenheit. We don't recommend stopping by for a swim. So, in the mini box, looks like you get the Dulzura Pineapple and Coconut Snacks, St. Mary's Banana Chips, Nuggle, Catch, Devon Chocolate Digestive, Bigfoot. And then in the original box, you get everything up here, plus chicken chips, Ovaltine biscuits, Cocoa Crisp, 
strawberry ballers, ginger biscuits, and tiki gold coconut. Now I forget which box I have. We'll find out in a minute. In the premium box, you're going to add both of those, and you're going to get the Sunshine Olay Extreme Barbecue, Devon Chocolate Creams, Ping Pong, Charles Rum and Raisin, and Spice Bun, Plantain Chips, St. Mary's Breadfruit Chips, Besitos de Coco, Tamarind Balls, and Cheesy Volts Monster Paws. And the drink upgrade is Ting Grapefruit. Lightly sparkling citrus drink with a splash of grapefruit, a can packed with paradise. Oh, that looks like that's that. Okay. We'll find out what I have in a moment. Then it says, get cold packed shipping. High temperatures can cause some items to melt or get soft during transit. Upgrade to cold packed shipping on your account page to ensure your snacks arrive nice and cool. Want more snacks from the Caribbean? Visit snackgrade.com slash Caribbean. Okay. Then we have... Huh. What are these stickers? Are they scratch and sniffs? Let's see. No. They are not scratch and sniffs. But they look like stickers. Oh, we've got the pirate seal right here. Let's see here. Ooh. I think I have the mini box, but I do have the drink upgrade, so I'm happy about that. I can't wait to drink this grapefruit I'm not really a fan of. So let's go through each one, each snack, and we'll read about it. And we'll see if I'm going to eat these or not. So first we see the... St. Mary's Banana Chips. A tropical twist on a crispy snack favorite. Dried banana makes for a perfectly sweet chip. So I'm going to try these. I like banana. Next up, we have the Bigfoot Spicy Picante. That's probably, I'm probably not going to eat this. Yeah, I have the mini box. This giant sized puff cheese snack has an unexpected spicy twist. Powerfully picante. I'll try it actually. But I'm probably going to not like it. Next up we have the Knuckle. Knuckle, a rich combination of crunchy peanuts, chewy fudge, and creamy caramel dipped in milk chocolate. So it's basically a Snickers bar. Yeah, I'll try this. Chocolate digestive. <laughs> Why does it sound like a laxative to me? Crunchy wheat meal biscuits dipped in a delicious chocolate coating. A classic throughout Trinidad and Tobago. So, we'll try that. That looks good. This is called a catch bar. Soft, decadent caramel meets light, crisp rice to come together in a sweet milk chocolate. So to me, it's like a Nestle Crunch Bar with caramel on it. We'll try that. And this is the Dulzura Pineapple and Coconut Snacks. I'm not a fan of coconut. Not even close. Uh, sweet bite-sized fruity treats made from pineapple and coconut. Perfectly pina colada straight from Puerto Rico. So these are a no. I love pineapple, but I do not like coconut. And the drink is, and the drink is cold, so I'm going to be pumped about that, but this drink here, Ting Zesty Fruit Fizz, grapefruit juice in every sip, a drop of the Caribbean sunshine, Ting is the ultimate thirst quencher, lightly carbonated, natural citrus refreshment made with real grapefruit, so we'll try this, I'm not really a fan of grapefruit, but I will try it, because I'm thirsty. I'm talking so much. Okay, well, let's get the nastiness out of the way first. Let's try the, uh, the Bigfoot Spicy.
spicy picante, the giant size cheese snack. is um I'm scared you know what it's actually not bad It's basically a Cheeto, a spicy Cheeto is what it is. <coughs> oh boy. It's spicy. I did not expect that. Let's try another one. It's it's got a kick to it. You bite into it and you're like, oh, okay. It's just a Cheeto, basically. Which, by the way, I'm not a fan of. And, uh, and then, boom, you get a kick out of left field. So, next up, we're going to try the St. Mary's Banana Chips. This is interesting. The banana chips I thought I would love, and the Bigfoot I thought I would hate. The Bigfoot's not bad. These banana chips are horrific. Absolutely garbage, in my opinion. They're very salty, and they just, I can't eat them. They're just too salty, and, and just, you know. So I'm going to pass on that. Let's try the the Snickers, the Nuggle, which is the Caribbean version of Snickers, in my opinion. Let's see what we got. Snickers is way better than this. This is, it's, I, let's put it this way. If I was starving, I would eat it. But if I was in a candy store, I would never buy this. I don't care how much it was. It could be 10 cents. I would never buy it. But if I was hungry, I would eat it. If I was hungry, I would not eat the banana chips. If I was hungry, I would eat this. Oh boy. Let's go with the catch bar. Not a fan. 
That's a shame. It's better than the knuckle bar, but again, eh, I would buy that for 10 cents, not a dollar. No, no, no way. <clears throat> Looks like I'm saving the hopefully best for last year. The chocolate digestive, which again, to me, sounds like a chocolate laxative. If I had gone with the original chicken crisp, chick and chips, crunchy stick and drumstick shaped corn snacks flavored with a tasty ketchup seasoning, I would try that. Oval team biscuits, a delicious Jamaican barely barley biscuit, a traditional snack where healthy meets tasty, I would try that. Cocoa crisp. Tender coconut flavor combined with light crisp rice drenched in milk chocolate. The perfect dessert. I would not eat that. Strawberry ballers. Strawberry ballers are a corn based snack in a fun ball shape with a sweet taste of strawberry explosion. I would try that. Ginger biscuits. This isn't your average cookie. Take a bite out of this delectable, crunchy, and ever so spicy biscuit. I would not try that. Tiki gold coconut. Coconut flavors from the Caribbean island roots finds its way between layers of wafer and chocolate and the sweet treat. I would not try that. So right now, I don't know how much the upgrade would be. I'm going to double check. But out of the six other items I could have eaten, only three of the six I would try. If I had done the premium package, Sunshine Olay Extreme Barbecue, a Caribbean twist on a classic tortilla chip packed with a flavored punch of barbecue. I would try that. Devon Chocolate Creams, sweet crunchy biscuits with a rich chocolate cream filling. You won't be able to eat just one. I would try that. Ping Pong. You'll be bouncing off the walls when you try these perfectly salted peanuts dipped in milk chocolate. Maybe with that one. Charles Rum and Raisin. This milk chocolate bar is filled with sweet raisins and infused with rum flavor. A decadent trip to the islands. Try that. Spice Bun. A classic Jamaican treat that will melt in your mouth. This perfect balance of sweet and spice in every fluffy bite. Ooh, probably not. So it seems like the premium would have been worth it because four out of the... Well, there's more. There's three... There's some more. Plantain chips. The beloved crisp of the plantain chip coated with the familiar flavor of garlic. You, your, your new snacking addiction. That's a no. St. Mary's breadfruit crit chips. Jamaica's favorite snack. These lightly salted chips are made from breadfruit, a traditional staple throughout Jamaica. I would try one, but not really looking forward to it. Besitos de Coco. Traditional Puerto Rican macaroon cookie with the sweet and airy flavors of Kirby and coconut. That'd be a no. Tamarind balls. Tangy, sweet, and sour all rolled into sugar. These tamarind balls are sure to hit the spot. Maybe. Cheesy Volts Monster Paws. Made with real delicious cheese, these paws have monster flavor. Again, that looks to me like another Cheetos type of deal. So out of the 6, 7, 8, 10 added snacks and the premium content maybe five of the ten I would eat so 
Interesting. Huh. Let's take a let's take a uh, sip of this grapefruit juice here. Let's see how this this tastes. How many ounces is this, by the way? It says 330 milliliters. I don't know how many ounces that is. This to me looks like it's almost maybe seven and a half to eight ounces. If I had a wild guess, let's see. Let's see how this tastes. Hmm. You know, this isn't half bad. I don't really even taste grapefruit. It's almost like it's almost like a, a, a fresca. Or a Sprite, kind of. It's, but I'm not a fan of Sprite. I've never been a fan of Sprite. I love Mountain Dew, but never been a fan of Sprite. And I had Sprite Limeade the other day for the first time. Because I was hoping that <clears throat> the lemonade flavor would really dig into the Sprite flavor. And it kind of didn't. I am going to try the spicy uh, grapefruit Sprite, though, before that goes away. Got like a month left before they yank it from the shelf, so I'm going to try that. But this is actually isn't bad. This is pretty good. Oh. Well, <clears throat> so far in my opinion, the snack crate is like the poor man's Munch pack, but hilariously enough, I think the snack rate is more expensive than the munch pack. So to me, the munch pack wins. It's less money and it's better. But again, this might be a situation where I just didn't jive with the Caribbean. This was average at best, the chocolate digestive. The catch bar is worth maybe 20 cents if I was really hungry, but other than that, no. This was the caramel and rice. The Nuggle Bar is the Caribbean version of Snickers, and it's not good. The St. Mary's Banana Chips are really bad. These might be good, but I just, I don't know. I'm scared to eat it because I love pineapple, but I'm not a fan of coconut, so... No idea. And these are actually not bad. Spicy Picante Bigfoot. Surprisingly, these are good. I'm shocked. So, I'll probably finish these and the rest of this will go to my friend. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, nobody's going to want to eat a half-eaten candy bar, but the chips I could give away. And these pineapple things. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, please give the video a thumbs up if you really liked it. Again, anything I can work on, please, uh, please tell me in the comments below. And if you have any questions, again, feel free to ask. Uh, the ASMR Collector channel is pretty much a, I collect video games. I have over 5,000 complete in box video games for systems ranging from Nintendo all the way up to the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X. So I got systems like the Jaguar and her games, I should say, for the Jaguar and, and Dreamcast and Sega CD and uh, Atari Lynx and, uh, you know, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS on and on and on, PS Vita, PSP. So if you guys want to check out the channel, I have two collection videos up. One is a uh, Dreamcast video, and the other is my Saturn collection. If you want to see more collections, just tell me which system you'd like to see next, and I will be more than happy to do that. Thanks for watching, and again, check out Lloyd's ASMR channel. I'll put the link down in the description. I'll see you next time, guys.